If our nation is ever taken over, it will be taken over from within. Oppressors can tyrannize only when they achieve a standing army, an enslaved press, and a disarmed populace. Crisis is the rallying cry of the tyrant. The purpose of a constitution is to restrict the majority's ability to harm a minority. The ultimate authority resides in the people, and that if the federal government got too powerful and overstepped its authority, then the people would develop plans of resistance, and resort to arms. If man is not fit to govern himself, how can he be fit to govern someone else? The right of the citizens to bear arms in defense of themselves, and the state shall not be questioned. Knowledge will forever govern ignorance and the people who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power which knowledge gives. If tyranny and oppression come to this land, it will be in the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. I believe there are more instances of the abridgment of freedom of the people, by gradual and silent encroachments by those in power, than by violent and sudden usurpations. A president is impeachable, if he attempts to subvert the constitution. Where an excessive power prevails, property of no sort is duly respected. No man is safe in his opinions, his person, his faculties, or his possessions. Democracy was the right of the people to choose their own tyrant. The advancement and diffusion of knowledge is the only guardian of true liberty. The circulation of confidence is better than the circulation of money. Conscience is the most sacred of all property. Resistance to tyranny is service to God. <laughs>